Hello, I'm gonna show you how to render the best quality per bitrate video uh, which you're gonna render through Sony Vegas using X264 video for Windows codec. You probably have already seen such kind of video but here you're gonna get all information I got for two days, full two days of searching, browsing, googling and answering, asking help for on forums. So trust me if you want to, to get best quality per bitrate video, although it will take longer time, really indeed, then you're gonna watch this video. So you need Vegas, Sony Vegas and X264 codec. You're gonna download it and I suggest you to download 64-bit version of it because if you have 64-bit Windows and 64-bit uh, Sony Vegas then you will not find this codec in uh, Sony Vegas if you install 32-bit version. So, you download it, you install it whenever you want and you launch Sony Vegas. Here you go, I put a video here already and let's put it here and let's render it. So you go to video for Windows AV. You find HD 1080. You pick whatever you want and customize it. I suggest you to put here 30 frames per second, so you won't. So you will have less and lesser ghost effect. Uncheck this box and select select X264 video for Windows codec. H264. Okay, here is my template. This template is for first pass. This is for nth pass, usually for second. If you want best quality per bitrate video, then you're gonna use two pass encoding settings. And this is for single, just in case. So let's check it out what I put it here. You can put slow preset or medium preset. Uh, it will not affect too much on quality if you set it for first pass. Well, the quality difference will be too little, but I prefer to stay on the safe side and set slow. Do not check zero latency checkbox, as many people suggest. If you gonna render a video for yourself, you know, for, for memories, then you want good quality video. And if you set zero latency checkbox, then you gonna have too bad quality to even watch it. They're gonna be a trash. So trust me, uncheck this box. If you don't believe me, here you go. This thing shows what it does. Zero latency. B frames zero. No MB3. That is very important settings. No MB3 is crap. Uh, sync look ahead zero. Slides threads. Slides threads are not so good. RC look ahead zero. So trust me, do not check these settings. On the other hand, if you want to have zero latency video, then you have to select output mode as file, not VFW, trust me, file. X264, uncheck this box, unless you really use virtual dub or virtual dubs uh, branches. And output file, okay. Output file, you can select a container. I would prefer MP4, you can set MKV or even H.264 to get raw video. So video which you can put in any container you want. Let's set MP4. Let's set to two name. That doesn't matter. Okay, and these settings. Range PC. Trust me, you need to put it if you want to get a real juicy video. So black would be real black. Uh, so you, it would get original contrast. If you will not put this setting, then there is a big chance that it's gonna be, um, I don't know, grayish, you know, colors will be too kind. <laughs> Just put it, range PC. Range PC means full range of colors. So, ME hex, I set hex for this first, first pass. You do not need to put higher settings. Key interval. Well, that's quality per, uh, let's say, per thickness. 
seekability sure seekability video so 250 for a video with 25 frames per second means that seek seek frames or i frames uh, will be in average is 1 per 10 seconds um, better quality but less seekability if you want more comfortable seekability from player you know you set to play from 50% video and you want to start from this 50% or plus minus you know couple seconds then you set less default is 250 okay for for 30 frames per second video i set 300 and mean key int as 30 well now i, th I think that 250 going to be much better. Okay, all other things. Well, you, you just put it. <laughs> B frames 4, B adapt 2, Q comp 0 0.7. If you put higher value like 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, then you're gonna have better quality on fast, uh, dynamic part of video and less quality, well, uh, same as. Uh, same quality as uh, non-dynamic parts of video, but people think uh, that you do not need that big quality on dynamic parts because you will not see that quality, you know. So default is 0 0.6, I believe 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 is better, 1.0 is average for everything, for every part. Sub me, sub me 7, well for first pass it is even it is even big number, but let's make it 7 to stay on the safe side. First 12. If you have a dual core with hyper threading, then I suggest to put 6 and look ahead threads as 1. I have quad core, 8 threads. Let's make it 12 and 2. Okay, multi pass, first pass for two pass video. Betrayed whenever you want. All other things like this log level none, slow none, high 4.0. Do not set fast decode. Well, you can put, but all these settings already write all these settings. So let's make it okay. Let's make it okay. You know, here it is. And let's render it. Here it goes. After that, you need to render as again. Set ends path and customize it like this. Press set. I set slower for better quality. Uh, sub me nine here, and all other things looks the same. So we set it again. Two two and. B4 again. Well, all other is the same. And okay. This is not important. Trust me. That is uh that's gonna be an empty file of V, which you don't need. Let's render it again. Yes, I want it re re renders. And voila, here it goes. Good video. Well, thanks for looking. Here you go. Goodbye.